Welcome to Off The Hook Live. Thanks for joining me tonight, guys. Appreciate you guys being in the chat. I got Chad Thomas. I got Jason from JJ Drones. I got Mr. John Gunner Outdoors in here. Thank you so much for joining me so far. We have five people in here. Um, as you can see, we're doing a product review tonight. Uh, I'm doing something new on my channel. Um, but before I do that, do I sound, uh, is my sound okay? And audio and video, everything is good. Everybody can hear me okay. I just want to do a sound check, audio check, and video check real quick here. Let's see how that's uh, rolling. See if you could hear me fine, if I sound okay. I should look good. There ain't many times where I don't. Ah, just kidding. But, um, yeah, just give me a, a thumbs up if we're all good. I'm good, Dad. Natural state. What's up, Mr. Flint? Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you. Uh, but I am doing something new on my channel from here on out. Um, any product reviews that I do, um, I decided I don't see too many live product reviews uh, on YouTube too much. So I wanted to sort of got you. I wanted to sort of uh, do something different, and that way I think it's more interactive. You guys could ask me questions. I'll be sharing the link of the stream if you want to come up on panel and ask questions we can talk about the product i just think it's more interactive and you can get a better uh look at the product uh instead of just a video uh so we're going to try that from here going forward um as you can see on the ticker below my screen right down here uh, i am starting a sponsorship program for my channel um i am working out the details in it right now um, but if you want to know anything about it, uh, please email me and let me uh, put my email up here real quick. You guys can email me and I could give you all the details so far that I have. Uh, what it's going to be basically is uh, instead of me going with the memberships, I am going to be uh, doing the sponsorship program. And what that's going to include basically, hey, Randy, thank you for coming in, buddy. I appreciate you. Uh, but the sponsorship program is going to be, I don't want to do a membership program where I'm forcing people to pay me every month. Uh, it's going to be pretty much free range where you guys could uh, donate, like, you know, for sponsorships, your channel name and everything will get mentioned in all my lives, my bait making lives, my product review lives, and my videos. I'll put your uh, logo and all your information in my videos, actual on the screen. And uh, we will... Uh, do that hold on I've got somebody up here what's up not much what's going on ted not much i was just explaining my uh sponsorship program a little bit um and it's going to be uh you know at your leisure i don't want to have to force you i don't want i just feel like if I, it's a member if i start a membership program then you guys are paying me every month and i don't want it to be like that i want it to be a little different um there's going to be three different like sort of levels there's going to be like a five dollar level a ten dollar level and then a twenty five dollar level um the twenty five dollar level you're going to receive everybody who wants a sponsorship you're going to get shout outs you're going to get put on my videos you're going to put in my lives and that's going to be for about a month tft thank you for coming in so we're going to do that for like a month the ten dollar will be about a two-week program and then the five dollar thing is just you're going to be on my next video uh, you'll be mentioned in my descriptions and everything but everybody that gives that donates to the channel for the sponsorship program will get shouted out every video that i do uh depending on what price level you have but the five dollar price level will be in a couple videos you know your your stuff will be in the description ten dollar will be like a two-week thing and i still have to hash it out it's not all in stone yet but i just wanted to give you an idea but the 25 dollar donation you get sponsored hey mom you get sponsored for the whole month um, and you'll get a free pack of baits. I'll send you the baits. And I just want to do that because people can just say, okay, I'm going to do it this month. I don't need to do it next month. I could throw five here. I could do a 10 here this month, or if you want to do a $25 donation for the month. Uh, so I just think that works out a little better uh, for everybody. So, but there'll be more details to come when I get the details hashed out. And I think the man on the screen with me is going to, we're going to sit down and hash it out together. Yeah, he, the only person who's going to strong arm into, uh, you know, sponsorships is me. So Well, you already <laughs> donated, so we're good. <laughs> so we're good. So Jason's going to, and it isn't going to be like one uh, sponsor 
a month. It's going to be multiple. Like people that give that month, there's going to be multiple sponsors in my videos. So it isn't like just Jason will be up there this month and then you have to wait till next month. It's going to be everybody will be on all my videos, descriptions. And I'm even working on a few companies, small companies around my house and, uh, you know, around the local area that has already said that they may be interested in getting their advertisements up on my channel and everything too. So we'll see how that works out in the future. But I just wanted to throw that out there. We don't have all the details hashed out yet, but I will be coming up with either another live to give you all the details or I'll put a video out. I will probably definitely put a video out that way as I'm doing this, if people want to know what's going on, I could always refer them back to the video. And right. They can watch the video and get all the details or you could email me and I'll personally do that too. But there'll be a lot of things in there and we'll be, uh, yeah. And that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to get the videos out there, you know, before my videos, your name will be up there, your logo, your channel name, all that good stuff. So you guys will be, is Ottercat in here? Okay. Hey, Ottercat. Hey, Ottercat. Coming in. Uh, so that's where I'm heading with that. Cause I just don't want to pressure people into, I don't want to pressure people into paying me every month because then it puts pressure on me to give you something every month. And it's like the, the advertisements and everything I think are good. And I can always add to that. Right. So uh, we're just going to start that probably after the holidays. That'll be out. Hey, Amber, thank you for coming in. I appreciate you. For anybody that hasn't hit that like button, please do so. Um, Jason, do you have any uh, announcements or anything you'd like to make tonight? Um, just that uh, tomorrow night we're going to be doing uh, our u usual uh, live stream at 7 uh, Central, 8 Eastern. And uh, we're going to be talking about... Uh, uh, my uh, experience with uh, Reese across America. I just got done with that today down there in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, it was a great experience and uh, just going to share a little bit about it. I'm not going to go too much into detail because I've done an entire series uh, filming it. But uh, I do want to I do want to talk about it a little bit and uh, um, tell people uh, about my experience with uh, those great folks down there. So it was a great, uh, great experience. Um, just great people and uh, a great uh, organization, and and I just have, uh, um, you know, the the members uh, or the subscribers of my channel that uh, donated to uh, to buying wreaths. Uh, I mean, it uh, it brought uh, it brought a veteran to tears today. Um, so uh, it was a very moving experience. It was a great experience, and uh, um, I can't thank uh, the people that uh, helped uh, donate and. Uh, um, Man, it was it, it, it's it's a very emotional day for me, and I loved it. Yep, that's awesome. No, that that you that was a great thing. I mean, you taking the time out, which you didn't have to do that, and you drove across America. <laughs> you drove, <laughs> yeah, and you delivered the wreaths and everything. I seen the video on that. That was uh, I seen the people unloading and everything. So there was a lot of people that came together for that, and that was a very good cause. So I. I much respect to you, Jason, for doing that. That's really cool. And somebody's sneaking in my side. I see closet. that. And then his buddy's here, too. So you can get in here, Michael, and say hi to everybody. This is <laughs> Theo and my buddy Mike. Come on in closer. You can say hi to everybody. Hello. Say hi. All right. So that's it. they're in the, uh, in the room screaming and yelling, playing their video games. So I <laughs> Theo says keep, no. Keep, keep it down tonight. They're going to have black and blue marks. Right, buddy? <laughs> All right. You, you guys good? All right, they're waiting there for McDonald's. My wife went and got them McDonald's. Oh. All right, say goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, get out of here, kiddos. All right, so, yeah. So, uh, what, what I'm doing tonight, as you can see, is I'm doing the Sunblessa Bivy Light review. Um, I got all the information for you guys tonight on this. And then I'm giving one of these away at the end of the night. And I'm also giving away a Sun Blessa head torch in this little package right here. It's smaller than my cell phone. And this is a great light. Um, I haven't charged this since Ohio, and it's still running strong. So I didn't use it every day since Ohio, but I've used it for my PA hunts after I got back, and I still haven't charged this yet. So it's really – I really like their product. Now, I talked to – if you could see this little hook right here. That's in my in my background here. That is the only thing that is not available in the States. Randy, thank you so much, buddy. I really, really appreciate you. Boom. He just gave me a super chat. Thank you, Randy, so much. I appreciate and that. 
And thanks for sharing all my channel, Randy. I do appreciate that as well. Yes, definitely. Randy's a great mod. He's a great supporter of the channels. Uh, so, you know, if you haven't checked Randy out, please go do so. He does some uh, videos, some live videos, and he's driving around the world, the country too. You know what I mean? So he's uh, he's in his truck a lot. Um, he makes a sacrifice. He's a trucker just like Jason. So they're on the road a lot. So I respect those truckers, man. They really, they, they got to work for it and they're away from home all the time. So I really, really respect the, the trucker life. If you know what I mean. Otter cat says, well, bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, but the, uh, the sun bless, uh, my contact at sun bless said that that hook right there is not available in the States right now. Trevin, thank you for coming in. So that's the only product that isn't here. Um, now, SunBless is a fairly new company, um, and, and there's a lot of SunBless products out on YouTube right now. I think a lot of these lights are getting reviewed, and uh, these headlamps are getting reviewed. So that, that's why I wanted to sort of do a different spin on it and do a live review on my products. Any product coming forward, it'll be on a live like this. Like I said, I want to interact with the people and get their feedback on things. But I haven't had any problems with the headlight yet the bivy light is going to come in handy with me for camping uh, there's a lot of little great features in there that i'm going to go into in one minute i'm not good tonight i put a hole that's in the trailer. thanks Ooh. randy oh that's not good in a new trailer well i i did mess up the band trailer at work once when i was turning i turned too much and just jackknifed it and all i heard was <laughs> so i just went out and Drilled a hole through it, put a bolt in it, and pulled it all out. <laughs> and put a pop rivet in the hole that I drilled, and it looked brand new. <laughs> It'll buff out. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I just, like I said, I wanted to do these product reviews live with you guys. I think it's just a little more interactive. So, that's where I'm going with my channel. And don't be afraid to let, uh, let you know, um, Ted know that you want to come up uh, after he explains it, if you have questions, because that's what this is all about. Um, you can come up and you can ask all of your questions uh, of him live. You can you can ask them in the chat, but uh, the advantage of this is you can actually come up on panel and you can ask all the questions that you want. So so don't be afraid to do that. Yes, and definitely if you come up and say you know you don't like it or whatever, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Like I said, this is a product review for all you guys. Like it's what you think about it. I'm just giving you my opinion on it. Um, you may disagree with me, and I'm okay with that. You want to come up and tell me you don't like it or whatever, I my feelings don't get hurt easy so you can come up and say whatever you'd like just keep it family friendly that's all i asked so uh, i guess some, we got about eight people ten people in here right now so i'm going to just give it another couple seconds maybe another five minutes before we get into it i just want to see if any more people get in here. i'm going to give them time to get in but i thank you all for coming in here woman outdoors is in here thank you lb for coming in hey lb appreciate you. i'm your huckleberries in here thank you for coming in i appreciate you uh, if you guys haven't, please hit that like button for me. It helps the channel out a lot. Um, crossover Paranormals in here. Thank you for coming in, buddy. I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, so my day today was uh, very, very slow. I stayed up all night last night trying to work out the sponsorship details. I was working on business cards. Um, I think I got home and I talked to you, Jason, probably about one in the morning, and then about six in the morning, I you texted me back, and I was still up. And I told you <laughs> I was still up, and I got to go to bed. Uh, gotta love Thailand's in here, and I see all that fluff and stuff is in here. Thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate you guys. When are we going to start making baits? Yeah, I'm going to be making baits. Uh, Santa is actually making me some molds right now. So once Santa brings those molds, it's going to be after Christmas as I'm going to start getting into my bait making. Now, tonight, my buddy Bob, his wife shot a nice buck in Ohio tonight off of our lease. So let me see if I can get this up on my phone. Catfish Fresno, what's up, buddy? Thank you for coming in. I'm going to put this up on my uh, phone here, and I don't know if you guys will get it. but or You'll be able to see it real well, but we'll see what happens. Um, okay, so here it is right here. So I don't know if you guys could see that buck right there, but that's a pretty nice buck she shot. Nice. Yeah, so she got that buck tonight. She just texted me and said she got it. And that was the first shooter that she's seen all year down there. So it's been a tough year. Um, but I am... I hope I'm through back. Okay. 
Okay. So yeah, so it's been really tough, but after the holidays, January, February, I'm going to be out cold weather hunting. So I don't prefer, I don't like that, but it is what it is. So I'm going to be hunting after the holidays. Now I am going to Florida the day after Christmas with the family and I'm going to meet up with John from Small Water Charters in Lindy and we're going to do some bass fishing. So that's what we're going to be, uh, that's what's coming up for me. I do have two more videos I'm editing right now uh, of my buck that I shot. Uh, my dad shot one, my buddy shot one this year on opening day of the PA gun season. So that's going to come out and that's sort of like a mini series. That is a, uh, it's called deer camp and that's going to be my two video mini series on that right there. So, um, also Jason, I wanted to mention while everybody's in here and coming in is, uh, my last video of my doe, um, I put it up and ran it and I got a ads, uh, what is that called, Jason? What this says with the ads? They were limited or something yeah, along those lines. Yeah, limited ad revenue for the uh, for the uh, video because I think that the deer at the end was shown with the blood and stuff on it, so it was a little bit maybe too gory or something for them, or, or they considered it like violence. So I only have limited ad availability on that, and that kind of not made me mad i understand that i probably should have taken that out but that just lets me learn for ne my next videos um what to do and what not to do um i did put it in review though with a person and um so i sent it out to go under review it took about what was it two days they came then they just emailed me back and said it's staying in it's staying like that it, and we're not changing it so but they don't give you a reason for it they just tell you that it didn't follow the guidelines and i tried to email them back and jj i'm disappointed in the shower scene woman said <laughs> <laughs> hey you know i wasn't i wasn't Ted, Ted wasn't. He he got the he got the full view afterwards. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so so flows in here too. What's up, buddy? What's up, Billy? Thank you for coming in. But yeah, so my it, it was in review. So you got an op option. Just so you guys know, if the a ads come up and you disagree with it, you can always put it in review. So I put it in review, and I wanted to mention that to you guys. And it took about two days, two or three days, to get back to me. And what they all did. They just sent me the email saying it's staying in that it's staying that way and that's it so i tried emailing them back and it said you couldn't email them back so if i wanted to call them or whatever but whatever but it is what it is so i was a little bit disappointed in that but i kind of had a feeling too jason didn't i when i yep. called you up and said you know should i yep. be putting this in there should i not so i left it in there to see and i learned that yeah youtube's not really into the uh thing but it is a hunting channel that's what i don't understand right. so I mean, the shots, you see people shooting deer, you see people holding them up, but I guess they didn't like that uh, deer laying there with the blood. I should have probably cleaned it off or just did a headshot or a, an outro with uh, me holding the deer or something like that. See ya. Can you come here for a second? Sorry, guys. But um, so I learned from next time. So we shall see. But just wanted to share that with you guys. So let's get into the uh let's get into the uh the product review here so the sun blessa comes in a really cool carry case theo can you not hit that bell please one out so it's okay we good right here jason yep we're good all right it just seemed like it went out for a second on me here so but my kids were hitting the uh my son was hitting this goofy oh. bells in the background it was you know how that bugs me so anyway the sun blessa comes in the case it's got the light here it's got a charger let me pull this out for you real quick here so it's got the light and it's got a really cool feature to it. It comes with a magnet. It's got a magnet on the back and it comes with a piece of metal that you could mount this to wherever you want and you could strap it on and it just, it's a pretty solid magnet where it stays up, okay? 
Um, that's that. It comes with that. It comes with the charger, USB, USB-C. It plugs in to charge it. Um, it does have a lanyard with it. You can put that on. It comes with the directions. It's just a little... There ain't much to it. It's pretty easy, self-explanatory directions. It also comes with two sticky 3M pieces of metal, round metal, that you could just stick these somewhere to stick that onto. If you mount this somewhere and you want to take it off of here and you have somewhere else to mount it too. So it comes with two round little 3M sticky back pieces of metal that you can mount anywhere. And then this one here is the remote. It comes with the remote. Now they have one without a remote also, but I got the one with the remote because it does have a light, a night light feature on it. And for camping, when the kids get up or something, I have the remote, I could turn it on or they could at least see the light and know where to turn it on at. But uh, it comes with a remote too. I'm going to pull the plastic piece out because I haven't used it yet. So that's where that is there. Now uh, the features to this, it has the three colors. It has the white, the red and green light. It comes with the remote, the powerful magnet, the uh, night light on and off switch, which is you can't see because it it's you can't see it because it's you can't see it because it's green. Can you see my eye through there? But uh, it's green, so you're not going to see it because I have a green screen behind it. But that right there is where the on off switch is. Um, it also is a power bank to charge your stuff. It has a USB and it has a USB C port right here that you can charge and all you do is plug your USB into here and I'm going to do all this for you right here plug it in and then I got my phone here and you'll see the light come on when you plug it in you see that blue it's like a blue light right there yep that comes on and then you plug it in and I'm just using my phone as an example Thea and then I just plug this in boom and it's charging so now, obviously, if you're going to be using that to charge uh, a device, you're going to lose the amount of time that you can use light. Yes. Now, this has a uh, the power bank. It's a built in. It's rechargeable. It's a built in battery. Um, it's the 26 milliamp hours for this one here. Th Hold on one second, guys. For one second. I'll be right back. Hold on. Yeah, everybody watch for a Woman Outdoors review on it tomorrow as well. Yeah, okay. Well, there we go. I'm back. All good. I just had to give them a little pep talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where was I at? So, yeah, so on there, you're going to lose it. But this is a 26, 000, or yeah, 2,600 milliamper uh, light. So, and what the milliampers is, is that's just the amount of, like, energy that it, it takes to charge and how long it'll, you know, stay on charge. And when the battery needs recharge, that's what that milliamper is. Now they do have a 5,000 milliamp and, uh, that is, and it'll be in the description also to buy that, but they sent me the 2,600 milliamp, not the 5,000, yeah, the 5,000 and 2,600, but I have the 2,600. Now that is a lithium battery and it also has a smooth light brightness. And I'm going to show you that real quick here. Now to turn it on, you press it on. It's got the just the plain light right there, and that's going to really mess the thing up there. So there, there's the red light. See that? And then wait till the green light comes on, and then the green light, and then it goes back to blue. So you have a low, low white, a bright one, low red, bright red, low green, high green. So it has those three, and then there's four lights in here that are lit blue right here. That yep. gives you the percentage of charges, and I'll give you the uh, the percentage of the charges are the four lights are 100 to 75 percent charged, three lights are 75 to 50 percent, two lights are 50 to 25, and then obviously the one light is 25 to 1 percent charged. So that gives you like an so you can see where your charges, so you can charge them up when need be. Hey, Mark um, J. Larson, thanks for hey, coming Mark. in. Hey, Doc, how are you, buddy? Thank you for coming in. Keith, Doc, reads in here also. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's see something here. Let me turn this on. I want to see something with this remote. 
I don't even know how to use the remote yet, so we'll see. So it's white, and I think you have to put this on, but I think you have to hold it on. Unless the battery's dead in the remote. But I wanted to do all this right here on you, on here, so we could see it. Well, if the plastic piece was still inside the remote, the battery should not be dead. Yeah, and it was in there, so let's say something. Let's see if we can get this on here. See if it comes on. Okay, there's the brain. There you go. There's the red, but this is the green. So, see how it comes off here real quick, guys. Let's see, I gotta do something here. But it says the remote control workable hour. Da -da 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 -da. Any light mode, keeping keeping 25 seconds prompt lamp switch, blue light work three seconds. Oh, hold on. Okay, so let's see now. 25 seconds, it says. So we'll see how this remote works. I started okay. the timer. Yeah, and it's not it's not really doing nothing with the remote. So maybe I'm doing something wrong here, guys. So you have to program the remote somehow. There we go. <laughs> I thought it worked. It came on without me pressing the button. Maybe you have to hold it in. Yeah, but it ain't. So that's kind of, uh, it just don't boom, boom and start working. So that's sort of like a little bit of a downfall. Yeah, yeah so you're right, Randy. Get Theo in here to show me how to work it. Definitely. Let's see if I turn this off. Blue light work three seconds off. Blue light battery capacity. Yeah. That's weird. Maybe I'm too close to it. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't, it's not really working with the uh, remote right now. So that's a downfall to me, actually, with it. So if, if that's a deal breaker for you. Yeah, if that's a deal breaker for you, I'm checking the battery here. I got the battery right there. Slide it back in just to see if I can get this battery back in here. Okay, so we're in. Hey, 514 Fishing, welcome in. Welcome in. Uh -uh. It now it's shut huh? off. Nothing with the remote, guys. So that's kind huh. of that's kind of disappointing. Now I might be doing something wrong, but I'm looking at the directions. It says uh, optional instruction. Da -da 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 -da. Power bank. Remote control workable in eight hours. Light power off. Any light mode, keeping 25 seconds, press lamp switch. But it says, now if you look on the remote, it has, well, you can't see the green. It's the whole <laughs> the, the thing. But the green, white, and red, and uh, nothing is working with it. And you're right, Randy, it is China. It's just from China. Yep. So that isn't the remote is not working for now i have the blue light which it says so it's on so let's see nothing so and it just went off so to me throw the remote out because the remote is not working so either that right. or try and exchange the battery yeah and that's what i'll probably do off live or something and i'll right oh, it came on the power came on so let's see so now the red That is really weird. Green. Let's see if I hold it in now. It came on when I hit the power, so it did come on. Okay. But it says 25 second hold, so I'm going to hold this in to see if it changes. But that's a long time. That is a long get, time. If, if you're getting up to go to the bathroom at night and you want to turn this on, the uh, there's a plus minus on each one of these, the green, red, and uh, white. And it's not turning... It's not turning anything on, so I'm I might change the uh, battery in that and see how that is. But I would throw the I would probably throw the remote out or not use it. <laughs> but so let this, me ask you a question about that, Ted. If if you turn that on and uh, you put it on green, and mm -hmm. then 
can you just shut it off as green and then when you turn it back on will it come back on green again or do you have to go through the whole cycle of them okay it's on red right now yep i just shut it off now i press okay. the button once and boom it comes on red okay it does have a memory it says that it has the uh sleepless dimming and then it has the memory light mode of what function you use last okay so that works for that so if i have it on white and i hold the button in and it shuts off and i press the button one time the white light comes on now okay. if i go to the red light and i shut it off and i press the button one more time it goes back to the red okay now if i go to the green light and i shut it off and I press it, boom, it goes back to the green light. So it does have the light memory, so that works. So I'm thinking this remote just needs a new battery. Yep. Because it ain't picking it up. Who knows how long it sat in there, and you know the little watch batteries, you know what I mean? They're not yep. real long, lengthy. So that is that. With uh, Let me put this in here. Um, let me switch this up, because I wrote everything down for you guys also. And I'm going to give you the light mode features and everything like that. Okay. Okay. See ya. Um, so the light mode is the twenty six hundred milliampers. That's what we. That's what I'm showing you right now. Uh, <laughs> I seen that comment, Randy. <laughs> Sorry, I had to mute myself because. It's okay. Well, I can give the remote away. Yeah, I'll give them the remote. Yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> uh, so the light mode, guys, back, you, you threw me off, Randy. You threw me off. <laughs> so the light mode is the 2600 milliampers is the one that I'm showing you guys. Uh, the run time is in hours. Uh, so the white light in low mode is 150 hours. In high mode, it's seven hours. Uh, the red light in low mode is 200 hours. And in high mode, it's 22 hours. And then the green light is 300 hours and then on low and then high is 33. So that is uh, the light features with that, which is a pretty long run time. Yeah. It's real long. Um, the specs on this, and I'm going with the 2600 because that's what I have. I don't have the 5000. Uh, the battery capacity is obviously the 2600. Full charge, it takes four to five hours to charge this fully. Uh, the net weight is 159 grams for it um the lumens is 180 lumens uh which isn't too bad but the color temperature is 8500 calvins and that's you know the whiter light that's on the white light not the red and the green but the 8500 calvins is a pretty bright white light and you can see that right here boom and then boom so it's a pretty bright light i might use this for my lives you can see it lights me up pretty good there but yeah so it's a pretty bright light um the red light is really pretty dim, but I have all the lights on here for my live, so you can't really see out there. There's the bright red, and then there's the green, and then there, boom, there's the bright green. So it, it's, a, it's a nice light. If that remote is going to work for me, then I would say it's a great light, but that's definitely an issue out of the box it not working so i'll put a new battery in that and i will uh i'll post it on my community pa page guys hey lloydies i'll put it on my community page that uh if the battery worked or not and maybe i'll show a picture of it or something hey lloydies and uh hunting and stuff with j and j welcome in too hey thank you for stopping in guys hit that like button if you have it now um also let me go to the specs here the lumens are 80 the color temperature is the 8500 calvins uh the remote range is actually zero right now but it says <laughs> it's six meters or the six meters it equals 19 foot 2.2 inches that's what six meters is just so everybody knows that uh the cri is 80 percent. that's the color rendering index um and that's just an assessment of how the light source shows objects colors naturally when compared to a familiar basis of reference, either incandescent or daylight. A good rating is 80 or above, so it has a decent rating. Uh, an excellent rating is 90 or above, and this light has an 80. So it's in the good category for the uh, CRI. Um, the in and output is 5 volts at 1 amp. So when you're charging it, it takes 5 volt and 1 amp. Um, let's see. The warranty on it, the main light obviously it says warning it can cause eye damage so you don't want to stare in the light okay yes yeah. you know that's a but the warranty the main light is a 24 month after 
receiving the lamp. So you, uh, 24 hours, 24 months uh, is the warranty on it. And they're not responsible for any man-made damage. So just so you guys know, it's 514. I don't know if I miss you or not, but thanks for coming in. But yeah, so it's two, it's two years basically for the light on any manufacturer's uh, defect or anything like that. So all in all, I mean, I got it for free for them. Uh, I didn't use it yet, like fully, but from what I did around the house with turning it on and playing with it at night for the last week or two, it's worked fine. Um, but the remote, I wanted to save it to try it with you guys. And the remote was kind of disappointing because it didn't come on. And there's no really directions. It just says, you know, press 25 seconds. It's kind of like a, uh, it's kind of vague. But I'm thinking it's the battery because it's not doing anything on here. And when I held it in, I'm seeing if it comes on again. I'm just trying to give it a second chance here. So one of the and moderators I'm, want to take care of uh, that. Uh... Yeah, I can't whack them. I can't whack them from here. Okay, let me see if I can do that here real quick. That's annoying. But hit the like button if you haven't. <laughs> hit the like button before we block you. Yeah, hit the like button before I block you. Let's see, where's it at? Randy got it. Thank you, Randy. Okay. I appreciate you, buddy. It's good to have Randy in here. You sort of like can leave your guard down a little bit. Thank you, Randy. I appreciate that. He's coming. They're coming back again, too. So. No, I'm he, sure. He got him on here, but I did. He got him. Um, Ted, does it, does it say anything about uh, it being uh, waterproof in any way? Yes. Yes, it has. It's waterproof and rainproof, but it says do not dunk underwater. All right. So you don't want to be in a swimming pool swimming with it or anything like that, taking it underwater. Because I was thinking for fishing, if it was fully submersible, this green light is a great bait attractor. The green light. And you see them in the ocean and stuff all the time. People will drop the green lights down in the water under their boat. And it attracts bait to the boat, which, which entails attracts fish mark j is not a mod i don't know that's possible okay well there you are now you're a mod um i just made you a mod mark so hopefully you're i can't see it on my screen chat but i can see it in my uh on my phone so okay let's see if i can do this right here yeah so the uh i'm not a mod yet Okay, let's see if you're a mod now. Remove moderator, hide. Yeah, you're a moderator now, Mark. Should be. I don't see you blue on my screen yet, but it's going to maybe take a minute. Yeah, it takes a few seconds. Yeah, so I made Mark a mod. He should have got a message from me. Um, so, yeah, so that is, you know, that would be my, that's what I wanted to use it for. Uh, but you can't submerse it in water. Um, but I do like it for like a camp light for around the trailer or something like that. You keep this blue light on. Uh, and then you, well, supposedly you use the remote. You turn it on when you go outside. But that ain't working right now. So I'll let you guys know, like I said. But everything else about it is pretty, it seems pretty well made. I like the magnet, strong magnet. And it has that option to mount these two sticky metal pieces for if you want to put it somewhere else so if you want to take it off and mount it on the side of the trailer or wherever you're using it you can do that it does come with the power cord and then it has a lanyard in it to connect it so you can put it on your wrist or whatever if you're walking around at night so that's good okay so but it doesn't give you any information like uh it doesn't tell you um like what kind of degradation of uh, the usage you get if you're if you're charging something while you're you're it doesn't give you any time on like the light with it let me let me do something real quick here though let me leave the light on and then i'm going to plug it into my phone real quick and see if the light shuts off or anything okay just so you guys can see that i'll leave it on green for now and i will plug it into my phone and just see if it does anything with the light so you guys know so i got here i'm going to turn it off of green i'm going to put it on white i'll put it on the bright white so you can see it and i will plug it thea can you please be quiet i asked you that okay 
so there and let's plug it in and it's charging it right now and the light is still on but it doesn't give you how long it charges you know what i mean like right how much life you got now just from like experience i have that sub take 2600 and i have the sub take 5500 and when i'm charging my gopro batteries i can last for about five hours with the 2600 and that's just to keep the battery charged fully like it'll go down and it'll charge back up but I've never, I can't run the sub take the 2600 off of the GoPro without a battery in it. So all that's doing is recharging the battery that's in there. And I get about four, I get about five solid hours with the 2600. So I would say probably you could probably get a full charge or two on your phone with this. Uh, because, I mean, you got on high is seven hours. You got the red 22 hours and green 33 hours. And then the low, if you have it on low, it's 150 hours, 200 and 300 for the white, red and green. Right. So I think you get a good amount of time. You'll probably be able to charge your phone up twice at least. Okay. You know what I mean? Yep. So, but yeah, that that light is, it's good. But like I said, I'm disappointed in the remote. So I'm right. glad that we tried to, uh, tried the remote. But right out of the box, the remote did not work. So that's a, uh, and there's no really specifics to the remote in the, uh, in the directions at all. Um, on the directions, it just says, uh, let's see, I'll, I'll read them exactly off of the, it says remote control workable in eight hours. I have no idea what that means. Workable in eight hours. If anybody has any, uh, any say on that, let me know. Light power off. Any light mode keeping 25 seconds, press lamp switch. Blue light work three seconds off. I have no idea what that means. It's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty, it's pretty vague to me. Yeah. With that. So I do not, when I talk to my contact at Sun Blessa, I will definitely tell them that the remote, that, well, I'm sending this to him. So we will uh, see how that works. But uh, the light just came on again. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, guess what? And why did that work? Here, it's working. <laughs> so there you go. You just had, so a, so you just had 25 have... seconds. They meant 25 minutes. Right. So there's the bright white. There's the there's dull white. Here comes the green, the dull green, the high green, the red, the high red. So there we go. It's so working now. What? Yeah, it's working. And you know what I think I did? Uh, I mean, the remote, maybe it was too close. When I put it away, it seemed like it worked better. So the remote works. So, Randy, I keep your 20, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. So the remote is working. I don't, don't ask me why. I think it was just, it's too close when I was doing that. I kept it further away and it's working. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Hey, Thea, come here. Grab his light. I need you to stand into the kitchen with it because I'm going to tell the people that you're about 15 yards away and I want to make sure it works. Here, hold this and go stand there with it above your head for 20 minutes. Okay, don't <laughs> press 20 the minutes. buttons. Okay, green is working. <laughs> hold it to me. Just hold it straight up to me. No, that ain't a flashlight. Let me see the light. Here you go. Okay, white. It's working. Red. It's working. Yep. Yeah, it's working. He's about, he's across the room. So he's about maybe 10 yards away from me and it's working there. So, all right, bring it back. Thank you for your assistance. Hey, cranking and yanking. Welcome in. Hey, and James, yeah, thank you for coming in. Yet, yeah, uh, Randy, he could call it Jason. I, I, I'm fine with that. <laughs> what, what did he say? <laughs> he said, call it Jason. It's slow like me. <laughs> <laughs> No, it don't. Uh, I'm your Huckleberry. It does work without it. It was just, I think it was either me being too close to it. And now it's, let's see again. See, it works. Then red, green, white, bright white, green, bright green, red, bright red. So we're good. So Sun Blessa, your remote works. So we're good. There so we go. all in all, all in all, that's a, it's a neat light. Um, they'll be in my description if anybody wants to buy them. Uh, 
they're in my description. They don't have, I, and that's one of the first things that I said to my contact at Sun Bless. I said, you know, if I'm doing a product review, I want to make sure that I can give them a share code that they could, you know, save. And I don't want the 10% share code. No. Um, I think 10% does absolutely nothing. I mean, it does, it'll save you 10 cents on a dollar, but 10% is sort of like, eh, I want to start, I started out at 20% with them. Then they gave me the Sun Bless, a headlamp that I'm giving away. They gave me a share code for that at 20%, but I'm working on more. Um, when I do that with companies, I don't want the 10% discount. If they're going to offer me a 10% discount, I won't, I won't use it because it's sort of like a kick in the face to me anyway. I want the 20% and better. I like the 20 to 40%. And if I'm offering it to my viewers, I want it to be in that range anyway because I don't think a 10% discount is much of a discount. That's just my thought. Um, you may disagree with me, but I want to try to save you guys some money with that. So We'll see you later, uh, PA right, Trapping PA. and Outdoors. Thanks, PA, for coming in. I appreciate you. He had nope. a bobcat that he had to release in his last video, and that bobcat wasn't letting him get close to him at all. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty neat. So where's the magnets on that light? Is it on the edges or is it on the back? Okay, so here is the plastic magnet piece that's in here. It's all okay. along this whole back here. See it? Gotcha. The whole back of this light is a magnet. Gotcha. It's a pretty strong magnet. So, it, whoa, I almost broke it. There it is. So, so, so if you don't want to, so if you don't want to put a light bar on your pickup truck, you could just put that on the on the hood of your truck, and there you go. Oh yeah, yeah. I could say that I'm a volunteer fire department with the red light. I could. I could be a cop if I keep the blue light on it. <laughs> I don't know what green would be. Maybe forest ranger or something. Forest ranger, light. yeah. Yeah. So I could ride around with that. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's a, all around. It's decent. I mean, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't really like if the remote wasn't working. That would be the only downfall. But I can't really talk bad about it. I mean, it's it's compact. It's a little light. I mean, it ain't. You're not trying to light up the world with this thing. I mean, for 25 bucks or whatever it costs it's it's an okay light and like i said they're just starting out and they're selling in the states they don't have much many products right now but they did guarantee me for next year i'll have a lot more products from them now this sun blessa i'm gonna get, show you this sun blessa light um this is i'm giving this away also tonight but this thing here is amazing i really like this light um it comes in a little little pack here it's like smaller than your and this is all it is right here let's, let's shut this off so this is waterproof also it's got a green light high green red it's got a low red it doesn't have a high red and then on this side you got the white light the low medium and boom high and that's wow. a bright light and that's yeah. not charged that's not charged. So, and that's a uh, warning. You don't want your, uh, the guy who's reviewing to shine it in all your guys' eyes. Right. But, uh, you know, that's a pretty bright light. And I use this all year for hunting and I charge it one time. And that also comes with just a charger. It's your USB charger. So it comes with that and it comes with the directions. But it's very self explanatory. When you do receive this light, though, you got to unlock it. And what you do is on the top where you have the white and green light, there's, an unlock button on both of them you have to hold them both in and it unlocks it because it doesn't when i first got it i don't read directions on things a lot and i just took it out and i was trying to use it i'm like it don't work then i read the directions and it says hold the two buttons in so i held the two buttons in and it worked and that's uh that's why they have directions i guess <laughs> so but i'll be giving this away and i'll be giving a bivy light away too so and then when you get it, you could always contact me and let me know how you like it. Yeah. But they were nice enough to give give me the two products to give away tonight, which they didn't have to do that. Uh, they could have just gave me the share code and been done with it. But they're a pretty good company. That My contact that I talked to, he when I email him to talk to him, he he gets back to me in a, in a timely manner. Um, he, you know, he answers all my questions. Unfortunately, he couldn't give me the 20% discount on the Bibby Light but he gave me the 20% discount on the headlamp and he gave me two things to give away tonight, which I thought was really cool to do that, to share with you guys. So yeah, that's, that's the, uh, that's the bivy light, the sun bless of bivy light guys. So I really like any... that headlamp. 
yeah, the headlamp's awesome. The headlamp is like, I love it. I, I mean, I have black diamond headlamps, and they're like 150, 200 bucks in the, for the headlamp. And uh, right. this is just as bright. It doesn't have as many features, obviously, as the the black diamond headlight. They got everything, you know, on them. And uh, they have different light modes, red, green, and white. They have different light modes, too. But this is really, really close. And I think this is like, I'm going to say 25 bucks also or something like that. But you get 20% off of it. So you're looking at like 20 bucks or whatever. So right. it's it's not a bad light at all. Like I said, I was happy with it. I, at first, I was like, eh. But I put it, I charged it and took it out in Ohio all week. I ran it all week, not been coming out, going in. And then I came home, didn't charge it on purpose, and went out a week or two with it here in PA, and it still stayed on. It was just as bright as the first time I turned it on, and I still haven't charged it yet. So I'm waiting for it to die just to right. see, just to give me, like, my normal use of it. I, I don't want to use it and, like, leave it on in the house, but, like, when I'm using it out so I know, okay, I got a month before I got to charge it. You know what I mean? Right. So, But that it's a really nice light. The headlamp is definitely... I would recommend the headlamp to anybody. The Bibby light, I if it isn't like I said, it isn't going to light the world up, but it's a pretty decent light. Right. You know. So. So, but that's uh, yeah, we would have probably two hundred things to give away, <laughs> but uh, I'm only doing the two tonight, and I will have more products to give away in the future. But like I said, I don't want to, uh, you know, I, I don't want to. I don't want to just give away to give away. I want to make sure you have something that's decent to do giveaways with and things like that. So that's why I asked them about, you know, giving me two of these for you guys. I mean, I would have taken 10 of them, but they they didn't <laughs> want to give me 10 of them. No. I said, give me as many as you can. You know what right. I mean? <laughs> James said, yeah, it'd be all stickers. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. And like I said, you know, if, hey, some people, you know, they just do whatever you want on your channel. It doesn't bother me. Yep. So, so does anybody have any questions about this light or about the headlamp or anything like that or any other questions that they want to ask? Um, you can see that the sponsorship program is on the ticker below here. Uh, I am going to be doing a sponsorship program coming up after the holidays instead of a membership for my channel. Uh, I just don't want to have to say, you know, you send me money every month. Uh, this is just a free option. Uh, you can use my PayPal or Venmo, and uh, let me see here. If you want any details on it, just uh, email me. There's the Venmo. Just it's off with the dash marks off the hook outdoors. You can just go up and look at look me up that way. PayPal is off the hook outdoors, all one word. Uh, if you want to know anything about the sponsorships, please email me. And I can go into more detail with you right now. And then there will be more details after the holidays once I get it all hashed out exactly the way I want it. But it is going to be like a three, not a tier system, but it's going to be, you have three options. If you want to do like a month, a month sponsorship, it's going to be your channel, your information on all of my videos I do for that month. And you know, I put, I post videos every week. So it'll be at least four of those on my videos any lives that I do, like these product reviews or my bay making lives, you guys will be shout out in all of those uh, a few times a night. It's going to be like, you know, every few minutes, I'll make sure I mention your uh, channels and put your information up there. Everything will be in the description of my video. All your information will be in there. So, and it's going to be a $5, a $10, and a $25. Um, and if you get the $25 uh, sponsorship, then I will send you a free pack of like bait of the month and every month it'll change uh, different baits. I am getting some new molds after Christmas, so I'll have a more variety. I'll have around 10 different kind of baits at that time. So there'll be definitely a variety of things that will uh, be there for you. Optional, you know, if you want to give me, you want to donate 25, you'll have your name on my channel for a month. And so. even if you, even if you didn't want to have your name on the channel, you know, it's a good way to get bait of the month club, you know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, I was going to add that stuff into my memberships, but I still don't want to be pressuring people into having to worry about a payment every month to my channel because 
I just figured this can be free. You, if you have five, but not everybody has the money every month to do it. So if somebody has five bucks that they could spare and they want their channel sponsored on my, on my channel, then they, you know, that can donate the five bucks and I'll put them up there for a while. Next month, you don't have to do anything. You know, you can do it whenever you want. And that's, I, I like that option better. Yep. To have people do that. You need my address to mail it to me. 20 hours of stickers. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Keith, thank you for sharing Randy's link. I appreciate that. And everybody in here, please pick up each other and support each other. Share everybody out if you can. If somebody comes up with a new video, put them on your community tab. Get them out there. Give them a little, you know, give them a nice little support uh, message in there and send it out to everybody. You know, you're, uh, that, uh, definitely your community tab is a powerful tool in our community uh, to get people out there and share it out. Um, if you're supporting people and you want to know who supports you, you know, you don't have to look far. All you got to do is go into your comments or your videos and watch who's making comments and who's supporting you that way. Um, that's the best way for support is going and watching your videos and commenting on your videos. So we, we've been having a lot of discussions about shorts and all this stuff that we just had come, you know, in the past few weeks here. And people are like, yeah, you know, support. We want support. Well, you can find out for yourself if you just go to your channel and go into your comments and see who's watching your videos and who's making comments. I mean, that's the best support you can get. And if you see somebody sharing your video out on their community tab, that's another form of support. So I'm all for that kind of uh, support. Um, I do, and, I, and I'll probably be ruffling some feathers here if I say this, but I'm going to say it anyway, is I think when you're going into other people's lives and picking up other channels on other people's lives, I think it doesn't stick. The uh, odds are against you when you do that because you're going into somebody else's live and going through a link. You're not actually going through the channel link to subscribe to well, subscribe or hook set them. So I think that you should go to the channel that you want to support. Hit the bell, hit the like button, you make a comment, and hit the hook set. And I think that's the best way to get hooked up with that channel. Uh, that's just my opinion. I've seen a lot. I've been in a lot of lives where I've hook set people and people have hook set me. And I get 10, 15 uh, hook sets that night. And the next day I got one. So, right. Uh, and that's been happening a lot to people and they're like wondering why and I think that's one of the reasons is because you're going on to somebody else's URL on their channel and they're watching videos and sharing people out on their channel but really is it helping you or is it helping the person that's doing that uh, because they're getting the watch time they're getting the you know all that you're watching videos on somebody else's channel and I think if you pick that channel up you should go to that channel's URL hit the hit the hook set button there and support them that way and i think it'll stick better for you now we do have an option too jason and i have that where we will do a say randy is uh putting out a video next week next wednesday and he can contact us and say hey i'm doing a premiere next wednesday at eight o'clock and what we would do is we would set something up for randy maybe around seven o'clock that day and we would bring him on our live and we would share him we'll get people coming in the live but we won't if you come into our live and we share the link and you press that link he, you're probably he's probably going to lose you by the next day or two so what we want to do is we want to promote you go into his channel and physically watching the video in his premiere and then hook setting him in his premiere and i think your odds are better off with it sticking the hook set sticking that way than it is to come in our live and hook set him from mine or jason's url that's just my opinion you can try it and see if, see if it works, but just from experience for me, it seems like that works better. Yeah, and I mean, we'll we'll talk about your your video before it goes, before the premiere goes live. We'll talk about you know the the things that you like doing, you know th that you want to talk about the video that you're you're showing, um, and then it's and then there's a a way that uh, we can actually merge the live to the premiere. I believe where the live will end and then you can just click a, click a button and it'll bring you right over to the premiere. Um, I'm still working on trying to figure out how to do that. Um, but 
either way, we'll have the the link of your uh, premiere in in the live. And then as soon as the live is over, everybody should go over to your video and then they can choose to subscribe or not. Yes. And I wanted to just answer, uh, let me see, where was it at for, they missed the uh, lumens on the headlamp. Who was that? Oh, that was John, John Gunner. John Gunner. Okay, the lumens on the headlamp, John, and look how small this stuff is here. So I'm squinting. Um <laughs> The light modes, the white light mode on low is two lumens. The middle uh, is 38 lumens. High is 190 lumens. And maximum is 365 lumens. And that's on the white light. It doesn't give you anything, obviously, with the uh, the red or the green. The runtime for low is 200 hours. The medium setting is 20 hours. The high setting is 5 hours. And the max setting is 40 minutes for the white light on there. Let me see if I got a uh, green light setting here. Okay, so it tells you right here with the high red is 8 hours. The low green is 30 hours. The high green is 8 hours. And that's where we're at with that. A full charge, it takes 2 hours to charge the headlamp fully. And it weighs... 25 grams with the body and it weighs a total of 45 grams with the head lanyard that goes around your head and you combine them both as 45 grams it's really light it's waterproof also there is a waterproof rating on it um it's just basically the the state minimum is what i call it it's uh it's not really if you look on the bottom of this i'll show you guys here there's a little tab here and that's where the charger is it's where you put the USB at. I don't know if you can see that right there. There's a little rubber flap right here. This yep. rubber flap is, if you press it in there, it sticks in there. But I don't like it because it's fairly easy to open, that rubber flap. I wish that would stay in there a little bit better. But it will stay in if you press it in there. you got to make sure you press it in there. And that will be their fully waterproof rating. And it's the, it's like I said, the state minimum of waterproofing. It's it's the, the, the lowest waterproof rating to be considered waterproof basically and i don't think you could go swimming with it put it out right yeah so and that's that but all in all they're good lights i like the company they get back to you they uh you know they help you out they answer your questions and customer service to me is just about everything on a uh, with a company no and randy will, wants to see you in the shower <laughs> see see me <laughs> not me you don't want to see me in the shower I sing and stuff in the shower, so you don't want to hear me sing. <laughs> so, but yeah, John said cool. So I hope I answered your question. I am going to share the link real quick. And if anybody wants to come up and say hi or do whatever, they can come up and anybody has any questions. So let me copy the link here and then let me share it in the comments section. And you guys, if anybody wants to come up, they're more than welcome to join the panel and we can talk. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Yeah, today was rough for me. I stayed up all night doing things, and then I went to bed at like 6.30, and then we got up, and my son had, he had waterproof above the water. Yes, you're right, yes. John. It's waterproof above the water. Force and, One to bite. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you. And make sure that you run between the raindrops. Yeah, waterproof unless you get it wet, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is waterproof and there's water resistant. That's what you right. got to watch when you're buying things. Watch the water resistant as opposed to the waterproof. So, but I thank everybody for coming in tonight. I really appreciate that. And I hope you enjoyed the, uh, I like to do the live reviews now. So it just makes it more interactive and people can get on me if it don't work and whatever. But that's what I'm here for. I'm here to show you guys how it works if it works if it don't you know what to do you're not wasting your money on it and you could say well i seen it on ted's live and it didn't work for crap or it was a great light or whatever so you make the decision off of what i showed you and that's what i want to bring to you guys to help you guys out and i do use the stuff too you know what i mean uh the sun blesser we will be using it my wife really likes it so we're going to put it on the trailer this year uh, on the pop-up and we're going to use it to uh camp and whenever it breaks or whatever then we just toss it <laughs> but if it's within two years i'm going to call them up and say hey what's your warranty like and see what happens so right and i'll keep you guys posted on all that i write everything down you can see my notebook here let me just show you something real quick here 
this is all my notes that I have about everything in here. So I keep a notebook with me and I write it all down. So I know if I tell you something on a live and say, yeah, I'm going to be, you know, getting back with you next month. I make sure I get back with you next month because I write it in the book. Because uh, it's very easy to forget that stuff. Now, so the great I, thing about the live versus the recorded is that you could have edited out that whole thing with the remote control. But uh, live, you don't get a chance to do that. No, it, it, it is it is what it is. The remote wasn't working. You guys seen it not working. And that's what I want. I want to bring it to you like that. But then I shook it or whatever <laughs> or the light and I started working it and it worked fine. Theo was in the other room about 10 yards away and it worked from there. So that's enough room to, uh, you know, if you're going to the bathroom at night on your trailer and you want to get up and have the remote and turn it on, you can see when you're going outside or whatever. So all in all, I think it's a good light. Some people might not think that, but I'm still going to put a new battery in the remote just in case because who might knows well. how long it's been on this. I mean, it's a watch battery. I think I have a case of them in the back, you know what I mean, where I'll just go grab a watch battery and put it in there. It can't right. hurt. So, And I recommend that anyway when you're buying new stuff anyway is like if it comes with a battery, and usually it's not a good battery, I throw an energizer in it. I, I'm an energizer guy. Um even though my whole house has door cells, I'm an Energizer guy. I seen the Energizer. You did buy them. No, see, my wife thought I liked door cells, and that's the totally opposite, you know? <laughs> yeah. And it ain't like she's going to care anyway and when go down tomorrow and get me Energizer. She'll buy me door cells again. I'd go down to the Dollar Tree and buy a Reavax. Yeah, see, that's what I won't do, Jason. I won't buy the Ray of Axe. Like, I'll throw them out in the garbage when I get them. Uh, but I like the Energizer. And the lithium batteries now, you know, they're good. And, and I'm just an Energizer guy. I like the hey. bunny, and I like watching them run around. And, and Sue, what? Yeah, Sue, my wife would buy a cheap battery. And, you know, when you go to the store and you see $44 for a pack of uh, double A's, and then you see 13 13's looking pretty good. Hey, I got uh, I got a 48 pack of Duracells for 14.98 at uh, Home Depot. Yeah, out of date. <laughs> no, no. They and I used it. Day. I used it for the wreath that I put on the front of my truck. Yeah. And I've uh, four batteries, and it's only it, the wreath's only supposed to go six hours with those four batteries. Uh -huh. I've only had to change them twice over eight days. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, that's good. Yeah. Here, my mom said, Sue, you will buy anything you want. Yeah, you're right. She does. She don't listen. I'll ask. Well, no, you know what? I can't say that. And I am i don't want to say that because I'm like trying to get on her. My wife will buy me any, if we can afford it. And she, she does all the yes and no's of what we can and can't do. And if I, if I need something or want something, she's really, really good at going and making it happen. So like, she's great with that stuff. Like I couldn't ask for a better wife and mother basically you know because she she's just amazing she does everything the way you should i mean and that's coming from me because the way that i like things but we ever you know how it is she she helps me out a lot she does a lot and uh yeah if i need something she puts a mental note i don't know how she does it like i'll say something last year that i wanted like a pair of socks you know what i mean like after christmas and like she like remembers that and like i'll get a pair of socks this year that i wanted you know what i mean it's like pretty amazing when you're opening up santa santa thinks of you you know what i mean hey drew welcome hey I explore with drew thank you for coming in but yeah so i can't i can't complain i'm blessed so there's times <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, she'll give it right back to me you know what i mean we we just let each other have it at times but it's all good uh it's good we're good. She said, "Mom spoiled you." She is. <laughs> she said, "Mom." Yeah, yeah. My dad said that. Sue said, "My mom spoiled me." Yes. That's the, that's yes. the problem. That's the problem. <laughs> but then, then you, then you turn that around on my kids, and my wife spoils the crap out of my and kids, your and, dad the kids. and my mom and dad and my sister. So they get it from all ends. You know what I mean? And then my mom says she's a great daughter daughter in law. Santa is coming. Yeah, so my mom said that. She's just saying that on my live. Because that's the only mother-in-law you have, I think. 
She said that's the best mother-in-law I got. I'm hoping you don't have more than one mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you, Dad. Yeah, that's what Randy's agreeing with my dad. Hey, I work hard for what I got too, though. I mean, I was, I was, I was the firstborn. I was gifted. So, but everything we got now, I work for it. You know, my wife works for it, and we we do. We don't go overboard. We try to get everything we can. And the kids have everything that I never had, so that's my whole point. You know what I mean? Getting spoiled is okay. You have some well-behaved children, Ted. Thank you, James. I appreciate that. And I don't have no problem with yelling at them on the live. And you've seen that before. <laughs> if they're doing something wrong, I'll give it to them right on the live in front of everybody. And I think that's the best way to do it. That way they don't think that I'm crazy and I'm just getting on them. Because right. most of the time people will agree with me. But they don't. They're great kids. They uh, they're, they participate. They help out. They do a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? They're What's that? Yeah, my mom made pierogies today. With my sisters, I think, with Amber. So we got my dad brought me over two rings of kibasi. That's in our family. My grandfather taught my dad how to do it. And I haven't really put the effort into going over there and doing it with them a lot. I've done it before, but I need to put more effort into doing that so I can car carry that family tradition along. You know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> I need to do that and uh, get over there but they make it on a whim though it isn't like we plan it you know what i mean like my grandfather when we did it like our whole family went down and they were in the kitchen for hours cutting pork butts up and separating fat and doing all that good stuff so it was like an all-day thing like a party you know and uh so ted has 10 family members in the chat and two subscribers you're right john <laughs> yes <laughs> You're right. Okay, Ted, I've got to get going, but right, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep the stream going because uh, I, I still want to try and win this uh, headlamp. So. Yeah, no problem. I'm going to be doing that like probably right now. Uh, okay. So if anybody, if anybody wants to share this out, or but you know, would you want to share it out if you're going to win a headlamp? You just make your odds <laughs> less. It's up to you. But I appreciate it if you would share it out. But if you don't, I understand because I know everybody in here wants to win the headlamp and the camp lamp. So, and John, I did see your comment before. It would make a great uh, blind light or a camping light, like in your deer blind. It would make a great, especially when the remote's working. It, you can walk up to your stand and turn it on. So, all right, thanks all everybody. Right, Jason, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. And we're just no going to do the old fat. We're just doing it the old fashioned way. You pick a number. I'm going to see how many people are in the chat. We're going to pick a number from one to 10 or one, one to whatever is in the chat. I'm going to write the number down or I'll get my uh, wife to pick the number. She can write it down and we will uh, just, we'll just do it that way. I got the notebook out here. So we're going to give it another five minutes or so. And then we will do the giveaways of the sun bless a camp lamp or the camp light, the bivy light. We're going to do that. And then I'm also going to give away the Sun Blessa headlamp. It's called a Head Torch H11. So we're going to do that here. And I won't keep you guys too long. I don't like to run real, real long. Two hours is a good lie for me. But this hook right here is not sold in the States right now. So that hook, you can see it. Uh, they don't have that here in the States to buy that, to hang it somewhere. Uh, I'm sure that they will be uh, doing that soon. So we will see. And Randy said Sue 13. So <laughs> catch you later, Jason. So, yeah, so stick around, guys. And we're going to be doing this giveaway real soon. If you want to share it out, please do. If not, I understand. And usually the giveaways, you know, I put it out there a couple of days ago. And I'm, I've seen some people sharing that. Muskrat Adventures, how are you? Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you. Uh, if you guys haven't hit that like button, please do so. Um and like I said, if anybody's interested in the sponsorship, Ted, I won't pick a number because it's way too costly to mail it. Uh, this way. Yeah, exploring with you. I don't know where you're at, buddy. But, yeah, it's going to be U.S. only. Um, I don't know where you're at or whatever, if you're in, like, Canada or Australia or something. Yeah, it's going to be U.S. only giveaway. And I'm sorry, Drew, but if you want some channel decals or anything like that, I'd be happy to send them to you. We can, uh, I can definitely do that, but just the products right now, sending them to like Australia and Canada is so expensive. Um, it cost me to mill baits, like two packs of baits. It was like $25, $30 to mill two packs of baits. And here in the States, it's like five. So I really can't do that right now. Um, so I appreciate you being in here, Explore. 
with Drew. Uh, but if there's anything else I could do for you, like with decals or anything like that, please email me. I'll leave my email in the, right up here right now. I'll put my email in here and you could email me if you have to ask me any questions or do anything like that. But I do bait making lives and things too. I try to keep all that in the States right now. Hopefully I can start doing giveaways out of state. So I apologize for that guys. Uh, it is not in my about tab, my mailing address. I prefer to just keep that with uh, to play. If he wins, I'll pay for shipping. Well, Jason just said this, guys. And Jason, you don't have to do that, but I appreciate you, brother. Uh, if Drew, if you want to play this and get into it, and if you win, Jason, Joe, we'll go halves on it. Jason, I ain't going to make Jason pay for it. I'll uh, go halves with Jason on that if he's offering to do that. I would definitely do that. So we can do that. And, I, yeah, exploring with Drew, please uh, email me and we can contact each other and, you know, share it addresses and everything like that so i am going to share the uh invite somebody up because i'm lonely up here but that's okay I'm copied and we're going to put that in the chat so if anybody wants to come up on the chat please do so and like i said i'm going to say it again you see the ticker going the sponsorship program for my channel i'm talking to a couple companies around the house here that are willing to uh give me a sponsorship with them and i'll put their information on my videos uh, it's 25 bucks for the month you get a free pack of my off the hook baits it'll be baits at a month uh one pack a month um for every 25 dollars like if you donate 25 dollars for that month then you will get a pack of baits coming to you and you will get on my all of my videos for that month and all of my lives all your information will be there i'll share that all out for you it's a good way to get exposure on your channel um i'm not saying i'm a big channel at all but you know 2100 or 2200 and uh it can help maybe grow small channels if i'd like to do that and then there's a 25 dollar one there's going to be a 10 dollar one and a 5 dollar one for people and you're not you're not pressured into every month you have to pay that money it's whenever you want to do it you know what i mean if you have something coming out that you want me to do you know i'm going to share my e email address with all the sponsors uh they'll get my phone number if they want to they can have that they can call me and we can do uh chats we can do sponsor giveaways and things like that you know the sponsors that sponsor me and there could be more than one sponsor in a month it ain't going to be like um you just i sponsor one channel a month it's going to be a multiple of uh you know some people want to do five dollar donations the first five people a month i'll do all five on my channel and i'll just at the beginning of the of the video i'll have all their information up and then at the end i'll mention them again and then they'll all be in the description of all my videos for that month or the time frame that we're doing it for and then the people that do the $25 thing will get a free pack of baits. And that'll be like a monthly bait thing. Every month it'll change with different baits. So. All right. Thank you, Drew. I appreciate that. And, and uh, Jason, I appreciate that. Sorry, brother. Was eating supper, but had you running. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate you, buddy. And then there's Drew's. And then Drew said, thank you, Jason. Send, send, send some stickers. So, and I got to mail Jason out of package too. I told him I'll mail him that next week. So, all right, guys. Well, I guess we, hey, Sue, let me see if, hold on. Let me, uh, I'm, I'm going to mute this because I'm going to be screaming here in a second. All right. Well, my my wife don't want to do that. She don't want to be the one to do that. But Theo's going to do it, and he's going to write two numbers down. One, I'm going to write the bivy light is going to be the one number, and then the next number is going to be the head torch, and Theo is going to do the numbers. Theo, come on in here. Shut that off for a second. Come around here so that people can see you, and we'll get the two numbers written down from him. Write a number here, and we're going to go one to fifty. Okay, so write a number here, 1 to 50, mm -hmm. and then another number here from 1 to 50. Pick in between the numbers. Here, write it down. So, Thea, don't show the people. Well, you can't see it anyway. So, write a number up top and write a number at the bottom. As soon as he's doing this, good night. All, all right, exploring with you. You don't want in the, the giveaway. That's uh, what I'm doing it right now. Okay, just write the numbers down, buddy. 
that we won't keep you long on a Saturday night. I know people are busy, but I just wanted to say I appreciate each and every one of you coming in, spending your time on my channel. I really, really appreciate that. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we're going to start this out. Ted, you know I'm your buddy. I know you are. Uh, Thea, there's Randy. If you want to say hi to him. Here, just talk right here. Tell him hi. Hello. You're the one that's been talking back and forth with him with the money and stuff like that. Remember? Remember I yelled at you on the live for talking about the money? And Randy got you all riled up, and he said it was his fault. So, But Randy's your buddy. Yeah. And we're gonna, you tell him we're going to be doing a lot of fishing this year to make sure he's in our lives. This is my new fishing partner. Well, my daughter is too, but she's always busy with her friends and stuff, so she don't come out with me as much as she used to, and I do miss that. But she will be uh, – uh, no, John, you're going to pick one number in the first giveaway, and then we're going to do the other giveaway. So who's your favorite hockey team, Drew? I just want to know. I'm a big hockey fan, and you know I'm a Penguin fan. So I hope that doesn't make you un unsubscribe to me. Hey, Dave. We're going to, uh, we're doing a giveaway. If you're interested, we're doing the uh, giveaway on the Bivy camp light and I'm doing a uh, giveaway on the sun bless a head torch. If you want to stick around. Huh? I want penguins You're a penguins fan too. All right, guys. So let me do this real quick here. Let me get rid of this comp, this banner up here real quick. Let me get rid of that. Okay. Now we are going to pick a number. When I say go in the chat. Here, let me, where's my phone? I'm going to do it with my phone. I got to do it with my phone, guys. Okay, so I'm. whenever I put go in here with the green check mark, then you guys can, uh, you guys can do it. Please don't do it before or uh, uh, you'll be eliminated. And it's the number, it's from 1 to 50, whoever's closest without going over wins. And if there's two numbers that are picked the same, whoever is first in my chat will win the prize. And you can only choose okay? one number. And you can only choose one number. If don't please don't. hey Ashley, how are you? David Smith, Dan the droning veteran is here. So we got some people in here to get this light. Um we are picking a number from 1 to 50. When I put go in the chat, please no numbers until I hit go. Uh from 1 to 50, person's closest without going over wins if there's two same numbers for the person that picked the number first in my chat will win okay so whenever you see the go with the green check mark you guys can start picking the numbers there we go guys it's in the chat so go ahead and start picking we're doing it the old-fashioned way oh, <laughs> don't say nothing to nobody until hey, we get more mm -hmm. and me more Carpenter Self Reliance is in here, is and everyone just one? came in to say hi. What's that? Is this the first one? This is the first one. This is for the Sun Bless a Bivy Light, guys. This is for the Sun Bless a Bivy Light. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to ask you if you do win to please email me your address, unless I already have it. Leave site cancel. I don't want to leave site. If we, whoever wins. If I don't have your address, I need you to email me your address, please, in a timely manner uh, within a day or two. I'd like to get it before Monday if you can. Um, and I will get that over to Sun Blessa, and they're going to ship it directly to you. So how many we got so far in here? We're going to give it a couple minutes here. Uh, we got a lot. Let's see. We started to go. So Mr. Tully's in here. Muskrat Adventures, Cranking and Yankin, Missouri Randy, JJ Drones, Indiana Chris, John Gunner. My dad's in here. Mark J. Larson, Carpenter's Self Reliance, Bernadette Polonowski, <laughs> Dan, Otter Cat, then Ashley. Hey guys, what's going on? Fish and Fever. If you want to pick a number from one to 50, I'm doing a giveaway on a camp light. The sun bless us. So pick a number. We're going to give it about another 30 seconds. So you pick a number from 1 to 50. Whoever's closest without going over wins. And uh, if there's two numbers, pick the same. Whoever's first in the chat with the number will win it. So please pick a number if you want to, Fishing Fever. We're going to give it about another 20 seconds here, guys. Randy, I appreciate you coming in, brother. I appreciate each and every one of you. But, Randy, thank you for sharing links and everything. I know Doc was in here, and he was sharing links also. So I appreciate it. All right, Fish and Fever, David Smith, they're both in here. Is that 20 seconds? Okay. Stop. And I am going to hit end with the red dot. And once I do that, we will not take any more. So end.
and we will go with the red dot and fishing fever and five four, four three, two, three one. two one so everything between the green check and the red dot coming up here is it so all right theo do you want to tell them the number into the microphone 37 okay so 37 is the number guys so whoever picked 37 we got 33 james we got 27 mr tully 21 we got 43 is randy we got 31 oh guess who got look who got that it looks like your pappy won and it's not set up guys i he i didn't Set that up at all. So my dad actually won the camp light. He didn't pick the right number. He didn't pick the right number, but he was closest without going over, I think. Ashley drove, yeah, 49 and 50 Otter Cat, 40 and 15 and 17. So we're stopped. So, Dad, you want the camp Bibby light? And we need your email. So I, I need your address. No, I'm just kidding. I'll throw your address in there. All right. So thank you guys for entering. We still have the sun bless a head torch coming up next and theo already picked the number for that and we are going to do a one to 50 again we're going to do this quick because we've been going for about an hour and a half and that's about as long as i wanted to go tonight and nobody came up on panel so we don't have much to talk about tonight because it is saturday night i thank you all for spending your time on my channel i really really appreciate that so let me type in for the next one we are going to do the old good idea, fish and fever. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, so. And if, if you're still a you have to watch your steel game tomorrow. And you have to watch your steel game. Okay, I'm going to check. go in there. It's going to be 1 to 50 again, just like the first one, guys. We're going to do this fairly quickly so you guys can get out of here and I can go do my thing here. But like I said, I really, really appreciate each and every one of you guys. I really do. Okay, so we got the go button and we got everybody picking 1 to 50. Person closest without going over wins. And if it's the same number, whoever's first in the chat will get it. And the, the number's already picked, so. I haven't been fishing. Fishing fever, I've been hunting. Fishing fever. Yeah, fishing fevers. I haven't been fishing at all. I don't ice fish. I don't cold weather fish around here. I'm always out in the woods at this time of the year. I want to ice fish. Yeah, we can go ice fishing. We'll have to hook up with somebody and do it. I haven't done it. So. Yeah, we'll give everybody about a minute. I see the so far. Don't say nothing. I'm not. Where's Michael? Yeah. Did he leave? Did he eat? He oh, he did? Mm -hmm. Did you eat? Yes. Okay, good. I didn't eat yet. <clears throat> There's nuggets in that bag. Right? Thanks. All right, buddy. Thank you. You coming back or are you leaving? I won't eat the nuggets now. I'll wait. Put them over there. Mommy or Mima said hi, Thea. Hello. Talking to the microphone. Hello. We got five fourteens waiting for ice. Yeah, I don't ice fish. Um, I never had the desire to do it. Uh, a couple of my buddies do it, but I never did. I'm always in the woods hunting Especially at this time. Give me thirty seconds. Thirty. Twenty nine. Yeah. Dang it, he picked my number first. Yeah. Let's hide the co current comment. And then we will put in end. We'll go end. And I'll put the red dot. And we will count it down from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1. Boom. I feel like I, I think I know who he was. Okay, hold on, hold on. We gotta we gotta do the old uh tell them what it is. We gotta show them the numbers too. Okay, now this is for the Sun Bless Ahead Torch. 49. 49 is the number. Like the baby light is 37. Here you got what he wrote down. 49 is the number, which is I don't like that number. Come on. I don't know, but that's what you pick, so we're going with it. So let's see. I think I know who that Okay, hold on. So there's the end. So we got Ashley with 13, Fish and Fever with 25, 18, 27. We got Droning Veteran with 41. Two, I think it's uh, yeah, and 43, 22, 25, Mr. Tully. So Dan, the Droning Veteran, ice fishing is best. He said, and I didn't get the right one up. There he is right there. Where, where's he? Oh, where is it? It's up. Up. 
All right. Well, sorry. There it is. I'm glad Theo's here. So, Dan, you won. If you'd like to send me your address, so Dan won this one. And Pappy won this one. So, we'll have to get Dan's address. I put the droning veteran down. So, I was at Walmart today getting a, a uh, what is that called? The cable for the internet, Ethernet cable for my, because I wanted to plug in directly to the uh, computer. And I saw that uh, they had the. DJI Mavic 2 for five forty nine. We'll give him away for the ham wars. If he doesn't give it to you, I will. <laughs> I emailed you shortly. All right, no problem, Dan. Thank you. Yeah, definitely email me your address. All right, say bye to everybody. Bye. Say bye to Randy. Bye, Randy. We'll give him away for the ham warmers. Yeah, for, they were outside shooting baskets. It's cold out, so I gave them all hand warmers to go out there. All right, Theo. So he said bye to the. Uh, Randy. Randy and him are friends. So we're going to be having to show Randy how we do some fishing this year, right? Oh, Pap and, Pap and, do they Pap and Droning Veteran Dan. They each get a free hammer. Yeah, and then Jason gave, sent me a picture, or sent me, I told Jason, and he said, nope, it's four forty nine on the DJI website. But I'm not getting a DJI drone, believe it or not. I thought I was going to, but me and Jason hashed that out, and I'm going to be getting a different one. So congratulations to all the winners. I uh, really appreciate that. Uh, you guys stopping in tonight on a Saturday night, taking time out of your day to stop in my live and support me. So, And all you guys are great supporters of my channel. I really appreciate you. Keep coming back. And, uh, yeah, I'll be doing more of these product review, live product reviews. That's what I'm going to start doing on the channel. And uh, definitely uh, check out the sponsors. If you're interested, you can email me, and I can talk to you a little more in detail about it. And uh, yeah, if we don't talk before Christmas, everybody have a safe and happy New Year and have a Merry Christmas. And I appreciate each and every one of you again, guys. And until next time, we will see ya. See ya.